Have you ever felt so immersed in an activity that time seemed to disappear? Perhaps you were painting, writing, or playing a sport. Suddenly, the world around you faded away. You were completely absorbed in the moment, your mind sharp, your actions effortless. You were in the flow state, the zone of peak performance and pure joy. This state, my friends, is not a mythical realm reserved for the select few. It's a state accessible to everyone, a state where we unlock our potential and experience life at its fullest. Flow is a universal human experience. It transcends cultures, professions, and age groups. From the artist lost in their creation to the surgeon performing a complex operation, flow is the common thread. It's a state of intense focus and complete absorption in an activity, a feeling of effortless control where skills match the challenges at hand. In this state, we are not merely performing, we are thriving. We are not just working, we are creating. We are not simply existing, we are truly alive. Flow is not just a fleeting feeling of euphoria, it's a catalyst for growth and self-discovery. When we are in flow, we push our boundaries, expand our skills, and tap into a wellspring of creativity. We become more than we thought we could be. Flow is a journey of self-improvement, a path towards realizing our full potential. It's a journey we can all embark on, a destination we can all reach. Imagine a musician lost in the melody. Fingers dance across the instrument, effortlessly translating emotion into sound. Time melts away as the music takes over, each note resonating with a deep sense of purpose. This is flow in action, a state of complete absorption where the musician becomes one with the music. The outside world fades, distractions cease to exist, and the only reality is the music flowing through them. The musician is not merely playing notes, they are weaving a tapestry of emotions, telling a story without words. In this state of flow, creativity flourishes, and the musician transcends the limitations of their instrument, reaching new heights of expression. The music becomes an extension of their being, a conduit for their innermost thoughts and feelings. It's a dance between skill and challenge, where years of practice meet the demands of the composition. This flow state is not limited to the concert hall. It can be experienced by musicians of all levels, from the seasoned professional to the enthusiastic amateur. The key is finding the right balance between the challenge of the music and the musician's skill level. When the challenge is too great, anxiety can creep in, disrupting the flow. When the challenge is too little, boredom sets in and the music loses its magic. The musician's flow state is a testament to the power of focus and immersion. It highlights the beauty of losing oneself in the moment, allowing creativity to bloom without constraint. This state of heightened awareness and effortless control is not exclusive to musicians. It's a universal human experience that can be accessed through various activities, from sports to writing to scientific discovery. Picture an athlete, poised at the starting line. The crowd roars, but the noise fades into background static. All that exists is the track ahead, the finish line beckoning. This is the flow state, where the athlete's mind and body become one, focused on the singular goal of achieving peak performance. Every muscle, every fiber of their being is aligned with the task at hand. Years of training culminate in this moment where instinct and skill merge seamlessly. As the athlete surges forward, time seems to warp and bend. The world shrinks to the rhythm of their stride, the whoosh of air against their skin. Obstacles fade from view, replaced by a laser-sharp focus on the path ahead. 
There's no room for doubt, no space for second guessing. Only the pure, unadulterated pursuit of excellence. This is flow at its most exhilarating, where physical prowess meets mental fortitude. The athlete's flow state is not merely about physical strength and endurance, it's about mastering the mental game. It's about silencing the inner critic, that nagging voice of doubt that can sabotage performance. It's about trusting their training, believing in their ability to push beyond perceived limits. It's about finding that sweet spot where challenge and skill intersect, propelling them toward their goal. The athlete's journey into flow offers a powerful lesson for us all. It teaches us that peak performance is not just about like talent or physical ability, it's about like cultivating a mindset of focus, determination and self-belief. It's about like finding joy in the pursuit of excellence, embracing the challenges that push us to grow and evolve. It's a lesson that transcends the world of sports, applicable to any field where we strive to achieve our full potential. Flow leaves its mark on our lives in profound ways. It's not just a fleeting feeling of joy or satisfaction. It's a transformative experience that shapes our skills, our mindset, and our overall well-being. When we consistently tap into flow, we become more than just proficient in our chosen pursuits. We become masters of our craft. We develop a deep understanding of our strengths and weaknesses honing our abilities to a fine point. Flow helps us evolve from novices to experts, pushing us beyond our comfort zones and into a realm of mastery. The impact of flow extends beyond skill development. It also fosters a profound sense of personal growth. When we're in flow, we're not just accomplishing tasks. We're engaging in activities that align with our passions and values. This alignment brings a sense of purpose and meaning to our lives, making our work feel less like a chore and more like a calling. We discover hidden talents, uncover new passions, and unlock a deeper understanding of ourselves. Flow is not merely about individual growth. It also has a ripple effect on our relationships and communities. When we're in flow, we radiate positive energy and inspire those around us. Our enthusiasm becomes contagious, motivating others to pursue their own passions and strive for excellence. Flow creates a virtuous cycle, uplifting individuals and strengthening the bonds that connect us. Flow is a gift that keeps on giving. It's a catalyst for personal and professional growth, a source of joy and fulfillment, and a force that strengthens our connections with others. By understanding the dynamics of flow and actively incorporating it into our lives, we unlock a world of possibilities, transforming ourselves and the world around us. Achieving flow. The recipe. Flow doesn't just magically appear. It requires specific ingredients to come alive. Think of it like baking a cake. You need the right ingredients combined in the right proportions and baked at the right temperature to create a delicious masterpiece. Similarly, achieving flow requires a delicate balance of factors, a recipe for unlocking your optimal state. Luckily, this recipe isn't a closely guarded secret. It's readily available for anyone willing to experiment and fine tune their approach. The first ingredient in our flow recipe is setting clear goals. Just like a ship needs a destination, we need a clear understanding of what we want to achieve. Without a well-defined goal, our efforts become scattered, our focus diluted, and flow becomes elusive. Whether it's completing a project, mastering a skill, or simply enjoying a hobby, knowing where we're headed is crucial. The second ingredient is finding the right balance between challenge and skill. Flow thrives in that sweet spot, where the challenge we face slightly exceeds our current skill level. Too easy, and we get bored. Too difficult, and we succumb to anxiety. 
The key is to constantly push ourselves, stepping outside our comfort zones while ensuring we have the necessary skills to meet the challenge. The final ingredient is cultivating a state of focused attention. This means silencing the inner critic, eliminating distractions, and immersing ourselves fully in the task at hand. When our minds are free from clutter, our focus sharpens and we become fully present in the moment, allowing flow to take over. Clear goals. Your North Star. Imagine setting sail on a ship without a destination in mind. You might enjoy the journey for a while, but eventually you'd start to feel lost and directionless. The same principle applies to achieving flow. Without clear goals, our efforts become scattered, our focus diluted, and flow becomes elusive. Clear goals act as our North Star, guiding our actions and keeping us on course. Setting clear goals doesn't mean rigidly adhering to a strict plan. It's about having a general direction, a desired outcome that motivates us to push forward. These goals can be big or small, short-term or long-term. The key is that they are meaningful to us, resonating with our passions and values. Whether it's completing a project, mastering a skill, or simply enjoying a hobby, knowing where we're headed is crucial. Once we have a clear goal in mind, it's important to break it down into smaller, manageable steps. This makes the goal seem less daunting and provides a roadmap for our journey. Each step becomes a mini goal, a stepping stone on the path to achieving our ultimate objective. This approach helps us stay focused and motivated, preventing us from getting overwhelmed by the enormity of the task. Clear goals are not just about achieving external results, they're also about internal growth. As we pursue our goals, we learn new skills, develop resilience, and gain a deeper understanding of ourselves. The process of setting and achieving goals helps us evolve as individuals, expanding our capabilities and shaping our character. Challenge yourself. Embrace the stretch. Imagine a rubber band. If it's never stretched, it loses its elasticity and becomes brittle. But if it's stretched regularly, it becomes stronger and more resilient. The same principle applies to our personal growth. We need to constantly challenge ourselves, stepping outside our comfort zones in order to grow and evolve. Flow thrives in that sweet spot where the challenge we face slightly exceeds our current skill level. Embracing challenges doesn't mean taking on impossible tasks or setting ourselves up for failure. It's about finding that optimal zone where we feel stretched but not overwhelmed. It's about pushing ourselves just beyond our perceived limits, expanding our capabilities and discovering hidden potential. This process can be uncomfortable at times, but it's in this discomfort that we experience the greatest growth. Think of it like learning to ride a bike. At first, it's scary and challenging, but as we persist, we develop the necessary skills and confidence to navigate the bumps and turns. With each new challenge we overcome, our comfort zone expands and we become capable of tackling even greater obstacles. This constant stretching and growing is what keeps us engaged and motivated, preventing us from becoming complacent. Embracing challenges is not just about achieving external results. It's about cultivating a growth mindset. It's about seeing challenges not as obstacles to be avoided, but as opportunities for learning and development. This mindset shift allows us to embrace the unknown, to view setbacks as valuable lessons, and to approach life with a sense of curiosity and adventure. Feedback is key. Adjust your sails. Imagine sailing a ship without a rudder or compass. You'd be at the mercy of the winds and currents, drifting aimlessly 
without any control over your direction. Similarly, navigating the path to flow requires constant feedback, a way to gauge our progress and make necessary adjustments. Feedback acts as our rudder and compass, helping us stay on course and reach our destination. Feedback can come from various sources, our own internal sense of how we're doing, feedback from others, and objective measures of progress. The key is to be open to receiving feedback, both positive and negative, and to use it constructively to improve our approach. Feedback is not about judgment or criticism. It's about providing information that helps us learn and grow. Think of a basketball player practicing free throws. Each shot provides immediate feedback. Did the ball go in or not? This feedback allows the player to adjust their technique, fine-tuning their aim and release until they consistently sink the shot. Similarly, in any pursuit, we need to be attentive to the feedback we receive, using it to refine our skills and optimize our performance. Feedback is not a one-time event, it's an ongoing process. As we progress on our journey to flow, our needs and challenges will evolve. What worked yesterday might not work today. Therefore, it's crucial to remain adaptable, constantly seeking feedback and adjusting our sales accordingly. This iterative process of feedback and adjustment is what allows us to stay on course, navigating the ever-changing landscape of our pursuits. Focus. Silence. The noise. Imagine trying to have a conversation in a crowded, noisy room. It's difficult to hear, difficult to focus, and the message gets lost in the cacophony. Similarly, our minds are often bombarded with a constant stream of thoughts, worries, and distractions, making it difficult to achieve a state of focused attention. To enter the flow state, we need to silence this inner noise, creating a mental space where we can fully immerse ourselves in the task at hand. Cultivating focus is not about emptying our minds completely. It's about directing our attention intentionally, choosing what we focus on and what we let go of. It's about training our minds to become less reactive to distractions, to develop a sense of inner stillness amidst the chaos. This requires conscious effort and practice, but the rewards are well worth it. Think of a meditation practice. At first, our minds are restless, jumping from one thought to another. But with consistent practice, we learn to observe our thoughts without judgment, allowing them to pass by like clouds in the sky. This cultivates a sense of inner peace and clarity, making it easier to focus our attention on the present moment. Focus is not a static state. It's a dynamic skill that we can develop and strengthen over time. The more we practice focusing our attention, the easier it becomes to silence the inner noise and enter a state of flow. This ability to focus is essential, not just for achieving peak performance in our pursuits, but also for navigating the complexities of daily life with greater ease and clarity. The flow state. Lai Oriis your daily ritual. The flow state is not a mystical experience reserved for special occasions. It's a state of being that we can access daily, transforming our ordinary routines into extraordinary adventures. By incorporating the principles of flow into our daily lives, we can infuse our work, our hobbies, and our relationships with a sense of joy, purpose, and fulfillment. The key is to view flow not as a destination, but as a journey, a continuous process of growth and self-discovery. Start by identifying activities that spark your interest and ignite your passion. These are the areas where you're most likely to experience flow, where your skills and challenges align naturally. It could be anything from writing, to painting, to playing sports, to engaging in meaningful conversations. 
The key is to choose activities that resonate with your authentic self, activities that make you feel truly alive. Once you've identified your flow-inducing activities, make them a regular part of your daily routine. Carve out dedicated time for these pursuits, creating a sacred space where you can fully immerse yourself without distractions. Treat these moments as rituals, honoring the importance of connecting with your passions and nurturing your inner creative spirit. Remember, the flow state is not a static destination. It's a dynamic process. As you engage in your flow activities, pay attention to the feedback you receive, both internal and external. Adjust your approach, refine your skills, and constantly seek new challenges that push you to grow and evolve. Embrace the journey, celebrate the small victories, and allow the flow state to become an integral part of your daily ritual, enriching your life and unlocking your full potential.